Master, I have a question. And my question is based on meditation. You see, I'm a beginner in the meditative state. So, and I haven't experienced anything about meditation yet. If Even if I have, I don't know of it yet. So, I want you to show me or tell me about some signs which proves that maybe I'm improving my meditative states. Because to me, I don't think I've seen any signs that shows that I'm improving yet. So I want to know the kind of signs that if I see, will show me either if I'm improving or not. Mm. Um, these are some of the mistakes we do. Okay? When a student is with his master, he will always want to believe in the consciousness of his master. He wants the master to tell him who is he and what must he experience in his life, which is very totally wrong, okay? Your meditation or in your meditation experience will be definitely different from my meditation experience because the type and the kind of meditation maybe I do may be different from the, from, from the meditation that you do. So your understanding of meditation may be different from my understanding of meditation. But due to the teachings that I've been giving to you, um, meditation itself is a broad something, okay? And it has different, different channels or different, different sub, uh, topics in it. And everyone and uh, the type of meditation that he does, okay? Maybe you are meditating on how to have inner peace. Or maybe you are meditating on how to attract money in your you know, life. You want to live a good life. Or maybe you are meditating, you are meditating uh, on how to uh, you know, go away from anxiety, depression, and so on. But I'm going to talk about the real meditation. Meditation through self. In meditation to yourself is when you are a meditator you will definitely know that you are improving because meditation simply means dying whilst you are awake okay it means conscious dying okay not unconscious dying Sitting down quietly without thinking of anything. Sitting down quietly without a, having any thoughts. Okay? You, you want to connect with your inner source. With your true source. Your true being. So, these things, it has its own understanding. So, when you are in a meditative state or when you are meditating and the meditation is having an impact on you, definitely you begin to see that your understanding begins to change. Your understanding, your, you know, your, your perception of life begins to, to change. Your tendencies begins to change. Maybe at first, if you only experience life by money, maybe you know that you can't live without money, that perception begins, it will, it will definitely change. You know that you begin to know that there's a different way of life without having money. You understand me? And also, if at first you know maybe God is sitting up there, okay? Maybe God is sitting up there in the sky, that this perception will begin to change. You begin to know more. God is not up there, but maybe rather God is living within you, or maybe God is everywhere. Okay, these are some of the things that you will see that it, 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 it will start flowing in your system. Your consciousness, your understanding, everything will begin to change, and you will be able to have a communication with maybe animals, living things, and sometimes on living things. You will begin to have a connection with those things, and also uh, you begin to have a connection with you know the other vibrations. So definitely, if truly you are you are meditating, definitely these things will begin to pop in in your life and your understanding will begin to change your life, your daily activities 
will surely change. Not, not as in you are, you are, you are, you you are trying to change it yourself, but the inner being, the inner awareness, the inner source will begin to change it itself. You don't need to change it by yourself, but the knowledge, the understanding of what you are doing will surely change your daily activities, and you will see that your understanding towards creation, your understanding towards God will change. Maybe at first, if if you are having a perception of God in Christ, uh, you know, in Christianity that is sitting on the throne with uh, two angels, you know, with wings left and right, okay, this understanding uh, of you know God will begin to change. Okay, you will see it will begin to change. Questions will begin to come. Okay. And each time the questions pops into your mind, the meditative state or the meditation that you are doing will give you an answer. So you should know what whenever question pops in, the answer will come. Whenever the question pops in, the answer it will surely come. But if you, if if you are meditating and question be, you know question pops in without having an answer, it means you are not doing anything at all. You are thinking. You understand me? So meditation is is, is 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 a mechanism on its own that you know that control our daily and spiritual activities. Okay, so when you are meditating, definitely this impact will begin to flow in your life. So if you, you are not experiencing all this, you are not in a meditative state, you are just cracking your brain. At times, some people even crack their brains, but they get answers. But this answer is not from within, it's just from the surface, okay? If you want to perceive the within understanding, the self-understanding, uh, you need to be in the meditative state. So when you are into it, definitely this understanding will, will come on its own, automatically. That's it. Is there any question? Go ahead. Um, Master, we've heard in the, we keep hearing in the spiritual circle about this reincarnation. That every person who is on this earth then has been reborn. That is not the first time the person is coming. Actually, we don't have any experience of it, so we want to know how true these assumptions are. Are they true? Is it, is it true that we've been born before? This is the first time we're coming here. This baffles me and I just want to know. Um, you see, when we are talking about birth or reborn or rebirth, we are talking about a certain stage or a certain state of consciousness. Okay, each and every one of us, we are born for sure. Because if, you're not, if you are not, if, uh, you know, been born by your mother or your parents, you wouldn't have been on this earth plane. So definitely, we are born. But as in, you came on this earth plane twice, three, four, five, six, sometimes, um, in, 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 through understanding of self, it doesn't make sense. You can never mm, come on this earth plane on this same body, this human body two times when you are not above the stage of um, life and um, death. You understand me? Yes. But when you are able to cross that stage of life and death, you can choose to come wherever you decided to come. You can choose to reincarnate from your, uh, your, your auntie's you know, womb, your sister's womb, wherever. Because at that point of the peak, you know, you know, uh, nature itself doesn't have a control total control on your tendencies, okay? Because you are above that tendency, you are above that ego, you are above that karma, you are above. You can decide to come whenever you decide to come, okay? But being rebirthed two times, three times in the same body, actually, it is not an authentic um, understanding of self already. It is not. But definitely, before you come to this earth plane, you will surely be born by woman, and you will, you will not have by woman, uh, Parents 
and so on. But being on this edge plane two, three, four times for that one, um, I don't think it has a basic, it does a, you know, a stand in a spiritual um, understanding. It does not. Not at all. It does not. Thank <laughs> you.